27, unit 8. So there's uh, two principles here. One is Ohm's law. And what is Ohm's law? What is the equation for Ohm's law? That's right. And uh, I would have to say Ohm's law is one of the equations that come up relatively frequently uh, with the GAMSAT, but just because you know the equation doesn't mean you're going to get the answer right. <laughs> it just it just is the foundation to to proceed. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And so um, yeah, the the first the first issue here. Okay, so you see batteries um, at the top of the these three diagrams, and you see um, uh, the symbol for a globe, which means a uh, a light bulb. <laughs> So you see uh, the symbol for a light bulb. A light bulb in a circuit is it behaves exactly like a resistor. So and uh, the symbols for resistors include uh, these rectangles, which I tried to draw, <laughs> which will always be drawn better than what I did. And um, the other uh, symbol for resistors is the more old-fashioned symbol, uh, which is the squiggly line. Uh, but it's still a popular thing. So a uh, resistor can be a bulb, which you see in the diagram, or it could be a resistor, or it could be, uh, or it could be drawn as a resistor, or drawn as a, a rect rectangle, which is uh, a resistance. And no, uh, light bulbs are not resistance-less. <laughs> They're exactly filled with resistance, and that's why energy is dissipated, and we see uh, the result, which is the power of the light bulb, which is the uh, current uh, moving through uh, the resistor. So um, now, so when we look at these, uh, these three circuits, uh, it's already been said correctly about um, uh, if you happen to know that parallel circuits uh, produce less resistance, then, then you just are going to uh, use the following logic that we have voltage, the voltage is constant, the voltage is coming from the battery, the battery is the same. Then uh, we have current, and then we have resistance. So wherever you have the lowest resistance, you will have the highest current because the voltage is constant. So lowest resistance, highest current. You have the highest current, then you have, if you have more current more running through the bulb, the bulb will be brighter. That's, that's why you know, current is also related to power, um, which is power is equal to IV. Power is current times voltage. Voltage is constant again. So if you have high current, you have high power. And that's what you keep hearing about with light bulbs. You hear of a 30-watt light bulb, 50-watt light bulb, 60-watt light bulb, brighter and brighter uh, as the wattage increases um, uh, uh, with more current going through the... Uh, the resistor. Okay, so basically we're looking for the lowest resistance. So if you knew already that lowest resistance was parallel, then you would choose answer A, because A is a circuit which is only in parallel. So parallel, of course, is like this. These are parallel to each other, whereas this is in series. Series meaning one after the other. It's connected one after the other. So um, the first circuit is in parallel, so that would have the lowest resistance if you knew that already. And uh, and uh, the the other extreme would be figure uh, would be the second circuit, which is in series. But the third circuit is both in series and in parallel, which means it's going to be in between. So the one that's going to be the lowest will be the one that's only in parallel. So that has the lowest resistance. Now, if you're if you're sitting the exam and you don't remember, you don't remember which one has a, a lower resistance, is it, is it um, a series or is it parallel? Well, hopefully the minimum, you know, is the equation, the relevant equations. So the, the relevant equations for parallel is what I wrote first there, and the relevant equation for series is what I'm writing here. So when resistors are in series, very simple. It's in series. It's one after the other. So you just add the total resistance, uh, R1 plus R2. 
So that's the total resistance going uh, across the two resistors. But if they're in parallel, it's 1 over R total is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Okay, so example. So I'm sitting the exam. I can't remember which one is lower. Resistors in parallel or resistance series, I don't remember. So I give all my resistors a resistance of 1. And so if I give my resistors a resistance of 1, if I have resistors in series, one after the other, then the total resistance is 1 plus 1, which is 2. So <laughs> pretty straightforward. So if if I have resistors, oops, this is supposed to be plus. Sorry. Um, there we go. Okay, so if I have resistors in, in parallel, and I have, again, the resistors are 1, equal to 1 ohm each. Therefore, I would have 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1, and 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 is 2. <laughs> okay, so I have 1 over R is equal to 2. So if I have 1 over R is equal to 2, then I cross multiply, and then I get that the uh, total resistance is going to be 1 half. Okay, so the total resistance is... It, it, I, know, I know it's a very lengthy explanation, but I have to give it for a person with non-science background who's stuck in the exam and can't remember if it's parallel or, or series. So if you can't remember, just take a simple number and work it out. And, and that's, that's a way of, of um, solving many problems on the exam. Sometimes there's something else that you may not have memorized or you don't remember, but ACER will give you uh, an outlet so that you can reason through it. So, so there you have it. So question 27, uh, the answer is A.